multi-spindle technology. Today I'm at Tornos and I'm going to learn how to program this type of machine. Often a barrier to entry for engineers is the fact that they look very complicated when you look at the machines, you think of all those spindles moving, the tools moving, how on earth are you going to program it? Well today I'm going to show you just how easy it is using Tornos's um, programming uh, capability. They've got a very intuitive package here. Simon, could you talk us through how easy it is to program a machine like a multi-spindle, uh, the multi-swiss that we have? First, we to create a new program, we effectively open a model. A model, an existing model, ready to produce just blanks. Then we modify the model, we add operation, we add tool in our tool catalog, step by step, and uh, operation is small operation for small movement only. Okay, well let's let's do it. Let's go through the controls, almost a step by step as to how you do it. Step by step to create a new program, I just select create a new program, new part. I select the kind of machine I will use. For instance, a simple machine or a machine with three y axes. Uh, for instance, if I select the machine data for the specific machine we, are, we have here, then the next, I take a model, a standard model, and finally, the system open this program. Now, the way we program these is, is you program each spindle, don't you, as a separate, almost entity? Okay. Um, on that kind of machine, we have six spindle, but we effectively program it exactly like if we have a simple machine with only one spindle. And the model has a synchronization in it, synchronization that you can see here. We have two lines for the spindle one, two lines for the spindle two, and we have six spindle on this, plus the counter spindle. Okay, so these two lines here then, this is for the spindle that we're going to, or one spindle? Spindle one, yes, the first spindle. So, here, for instance, in the spindle one, the first operation is a macro to feed a new part. So the system will search the material for one part length. After that, we have the zero offset for this length of part. And finally, we have an operation here at the moment in comment, but we can disactive the comment, the mode comment. And now I will have uh, an operation to prepare the next tool. Uh, yes, here. Now, after to prepare the next tool, it's possible to generate the program, to calculate every movement by this operation. The system reads the program. Oh, the tool I wanted to program doesn't exist in the tool catalog. Do you want to add it in? Yes. And I select the kind of tool I would like, for instance, for turning, outside turning. Okay. And here, now, I enter the tool geometry I would like uh, to use. Dead simple, unbelievably simple. Okay, and, and, and now let's look at this second line here then. So that's the spindle. In the second line, okay. Now I have an alarm because I didn't enter any tool geometry. On the second line, uh, we use it, for instance, to uh, change the spindle speed in same time we program the tool. For instance, I add here a new operation, then I synchronize, I position the operation in the line to be in parallel with the tool changing, and inside I can, okay, S11 on, a small explanation, a symbol, Okay, then M1103, S3000 RPM, that's all. And so, so now you put that spindle speed in conjunction with that operation? Yes. We have an initial speed prepared for the initialization of the machine, and then in the program, I program the speed I want, yeah. 
the same time I'm changing the tool, so we solve, we save some milliseconds during that time, and then I can have here an operation, now empty, but I can select the kind of operation, for turning. I, I love the way you, you, the graphics are there, that it just shows you what you, whether it's drilling, turning diameters, it's very self-explanatory, isn't it? I like it too, because you can read the program without, you can understand the program without to open any operation. So you have the program layout in front of you. So once, once you've programmed all six spindles, does it, does it then automatically uh, synchronize them and, and do that so you don't have to do any of that? If I open another program, this one for instance, the idea to use six spindles together is to have six operations in the same time. On a single spindle machine, only one, maybe two tools are working together. Here, so, because we have here drilling, here centering with another tool and turning, that's not a sequence following sequence, but in same time. And in that case, we save a lot of time in the. It's es essentially optimizing it uh, as yes. well as you go, isn't it? Without you having to do it, it's doing it for you. To optimize, we, we have another view of this program after generating the program. We have a few called the Gantt. This is a Gantt diagram. And here it's possible to see how many time takes every operation. Uh, after calculation here, for instance, 14 seconds 088 is the exact time for this operation. So because we have six spindles in the same time, it's possible to see now What's the post, what's the spindle using the more time? This spindle has free time, this spindle has free time. So you could then change an operation to a different spindle in order to maybe balance it out? Yes, yes. that's very easy because, an example, oops, sorry. Here I have an operation turning. On that post, spindle three, Axis name will be Z13, X13. It's possible to copy this operation and to come in spindle 4, then paste it. And automatically, the system rename all axes from 13 to 14. You don't have to change anything here. Very, very clever. Yes, very. Yeah. Very easy to use, very fast to use. What, what is this um, called? What is this software called that you use, Simon? TB Deco. TB Deco uh, is and a you can get this off software for this kind of machine. Yes. And you can get this offline as well, so you can do all this at your PC. You don't yes. have to do it at the control. Usually we program it on, on PC, on computer, um, because with the mouse we are faster than on the, on the screen here but that's very easy also to bring correction, modification in the program. So uh, hopefully, thank you very much for that presentation. That was You're super. Welcome. Hopefully that dispels the myth that a multi-spindle machine is difficult to program because it looks like, uh, yeah, just what we've covered there in a couple of minutes or a few minutes shows you how, how easy it is. That's it uh, from me here at Tornos.